Yo, this is probably going to be fight of the night. This is going to be an absolute banger. We got Dustin Jacoby taking on your boy, the Hulk, Iwan Kute Lava. Kute Lava kind of has been struggling up recently, right? He dropped those two straight to Magomed and Goliath. The first one was fake controversial. The second one, clear as day. But before that, I mean, he was on kind of a tear, right? He was putting dudes out in violent fashion. Anik Da Silva got it. Uh, Khalil Roundtree with those gnarly elbows. I mean, he looked pretty scary, but ran into Magomed, and that's just always a tough out. But he's taking on Dustin Jacoby, who is kind of having a late surge, right? He's he's coming back. He's won two straight. He smashed Justin Ledet. And, you know, Justin Ledet doesn't wear deodorant. He doesn't get wins in the UFC, but still he put him out. It was early. It was easy. And then after that, he, he just beat Maxim Grisham. And that was uh, – it was a close fight. I know some people scored it for Grisham. Uh, Grisham missed weight in that one. So just kind of an interesting – uh, fight in that last one it opened up uh, one of those fight nights just just recently actually but nonetheless two straight wins for Jacoby and the odds makers are you know giving him some respect in this one he, you know Iwan Kutilaba is often a big favorite I know he wasn't against Magomed but before that you know the, he usually gets some love so to see him at uh, just a minus 140 and it opened as a pick um, uh, shows that the odds makers see some talent in Dustin Jacoby right now so who are you going with in this uh, fun one it's Jacoby versus Kutilaba I mean, you guys already know who I'm going with. Uh, I got to go with my boy Hulk Smash. Uh, very surprising that the uh, community, you know, a thousand people on Tapology, 67% majority KO. They're right there with me. And uh, I got to agree. I think he's going to get it done. I think he's going to ground and pound Hulk Smash, get the KO, TKO. Um, he's on a two fight losing skid, even more driven, more motivated to start smashing people again. I mean, a, two losses to Magomed. One fluke loss and then one real loss. Uh, no shame in that. Magomed is a uh, a bad mofo. And uh, this, this guy is nowhere near Magomed's level. I think the Hulk's going to run through him like he ran through uh, Roundtree. Yeah, that's uh, that's some sizzling beef. You hear the dogs out there howling. They, they can hear these uh, juicy takes coming this way because, I mean, Dustin Jacoby is no joke. And I don't know. I'm curious to see if... Uh, if E1 maybe peaked a little bit, if if maybe E1 is just destined to be uh, sort of a UFC meme fighter who can beat a lot of beat a lot of guys, but not necessarily in that top echelon. And I don't know. I, I think Dustin Jacoby might present some challenges in this one because I've been low key impressed with what he's been doing, and uh, I think Kute Laba is uh, susceptible to get cracked in this one. So you mentioned Tapology, sixty seven percent going with the Kute Laba finish, but if you look at the uh, somewhat generous 33% for Jacoby, a lot of that is Brown as well. So uh, in this Hulk versus Hanyak matchup, I got to go with Dustin Jacoby. Uh, I think the Hulk is getting put out again. Um, I don't think it's Hulk smash. I think it's Hulk peaked. And uh, I got I got Dustin Jacoby to continue this trend that he's on and see how far he can uh, take this renewed license on his MMA life because – I've been impressed with Jacoby. So any last thoughts on this one? Am I way off going with Jacoby? Like, is this going to be an easy work rebound for Kute Lava? What do you think, real quick? You know, I'd like to think that uh, it's, this will be easy work. Um, but since those last two losses, anything can happen. I mean, the Hulk's kind of like a washed-up, bum version of Marvin Vittori. Super intense, really <laughs> aggressive, but just isn't the top five. Uh, but he's always fun to watch, and he's my boy, so I got to go with him. But it's not crazy to pick against him. I will put it like that. I like the comparison. Very angry, but perhaps not as skilled. So nonetheless, he's going with Kute Lava. I got Jacoby in this one. Should be fun. Check out the next two videos, me boys.